everyone, Father Jared coming to you on this Thursday. And as I mentioned before on Thursdays, I, in my prayer, my meditation in the morning, I meditate upon the priesthood and an element of the priesthood that really struck me this morning as I was praying was celibacy and the gift that it is. Because so often I think in our, in our experience, we talk about celibacy as though it's a burden and imposition upon the priest and it's a hurdle he has to kind of like cross and a hoop he has to jump through in order to be a priest. And, you know, and then people will also throw out the practicality, the practical argument, you know, like how could a priest possibly do everything he needs to do and also manage a family? There's probably a lot of truth in that, but that's not even the most fundamental reason. Most fundamental reason, you know, comes down to something that the Lord tells us in the gospel. And then I know it's also is, which is that it's as a witness to the kingdom. It's a witness of heaven. It's a witness of the way in which we will live in the heavenly kingdom. They are neither given in marriage nor taken into marriage. And even in many ways, that's what my life is supposed to reflect. And, you know, one time I had this Holy Spirit moment. I was talking with this woman, and she said, you know, I just wish you priests could get married so that way you knew what life was all about. And my immediate response, without much thinking about it, was actually the reason why I'm not married is to show you what life is all about. Because life is more about just the here and now, it's more th about more than just the material, it's, more, it's about more than so many other things, right? Instead, our lives are or supposed to be oriented towards heaven. We're supposed to be leaning into eternity. And that's how we're supposed to be living, as though we are living with the knowledge that one day we will stand before our judge, and that we'll either be welcomed into paradise, or we will not, and go to the eternal fires. And that fact is something that's supposed to witness to by my life, by the life of every priest. As I mentioned before, can I live my priesthood as though it's just a bachelorhood? Yes, same priest do it. It can be a scandal. And can I do that on some days? Of course I can, um, unfortunately. But if I live, you know, and try to get up each day and live in accord to say, my life is going to witness to the dignity of the gospel. It's going to live to the dignity. I'm going to live it in the cord with the dignity that the Lord has afforded me in calling me to be a priest and allowing me to be ordained a priest and to continue to serve as his priest. Then really my life needs to be witness that heaven is for real, that eternal life is truly there for us, and that eternal life is something that is going to come at the end of our life. And that we should live as though that's that's a reality. And so I think celibacy helps us to lean into that. And I think it also helps to show our just need for God. You know, I think one of the simple things that it does is it also shows us that in this life, no human being is going to be enough. Even your spouse even the best of friends, even your children, are not enough. You know, because people always talk, oh, it must be lonely to be a priest. And it's like, yeah, it can be lonely, but what person is never lonely? Everybody gets lonely. Married people are lonely. People who are surrounded by people all the time are lonely. But what is our loneliness all about? And I think, you know, also often we can just like reach for our phones whenever, you know, we feel a little bit lonely. It's like, okay, I gotta like shove that feeling down. But what is loneliness really? And what is it perhaps an invitation to when we experience that? And as I've thought about that, I think that loneliness is that realization that comes to our hearts, to our minds, that we're not fully known by others, that people don't fully understand us. And that's true, that's true. We don't even fully understand ourselves. And I think that's a frustrating aspect of it too. And in that moment, what I think we're invited to do is to enter more deeply into that and to recognize that there's only one who truly knows who we are. There's only one that we can come to know more and more fully and that, that will never really end, and that is God. That we can't fully know him in this life and even in eternity, you know, we're gonna eventually learn as much as we can and know as much as we can about him. But for all of eternity, until then, we will not fully know him, and we are not going to fully know ourselves. 
and we're not co- and the only one who rec- who knows who we fully are in ourselves at this moment is God, is Jesus Christ. And ultimately, loneliness is an invitation for us to lean into that relationship. And so, can the life of a priest be lonely? Yes, but that's an invitation to me to rely more heavily on the Lord. That my life is again to give witness to the fact that Jesus is enough. That I don't need a spouse because the Lord is enough. So that is what I think celibacy is all about. I don't know why I felt called to talk about this today, but I just felt like it was the right thing to discuss. It was the right thing to bring forward. And I hope that each and every one of you uh, remember to pray for your priest. We carry a heavy burden. We're carrying the very death of Jesus in our bodies, his own sufferings. And so I ask you to pray for us because your priests need prayers. Many of us are trying to do the best we can and holiness only increases when grace increases. So increase your prayers for us. Know of my prayers for you. Know that you're loved by me, by the Lord, and ultimately come to know him more deeply and know that he is indeed enough for you.